Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I come to you tonight with kind of a heavy heart for one of our sisters. I'm sorry, I should have fixed my clothes before I started, but I gotta hurry up and take my dog out. I have to, I, I can't go to bed tonight without doing something about this. You know, earlier this month, like at the beginning of the month, I put up a video requesting some assistance for Morella, the single mom who lives in Ecuador. She's an American citizen and her husband took her down there with the two boys when they were babies and hit her. He beat her and took all the money except $230 and left her. Anyway, long story short, most of you have heard it. And I have some videos on my home page. It's one of my lists. Videos about Morella, if you want to know details. She's a single mom, and now she has four children. Because the guy who promised to help her with the two boys gave her two babies and then refused, kept refusing to marry her. She kept urging him to repent. And they needed to you know, get married, and he said, no, it's just a piece of paper, and whatever, so she finally said, I can't just live with you, I have to go, well, anyway, now she's, he does take care of the two little ones, she cannot handle the four of them, but she has to pay him money to feed them, okay, now, why they have some kind of child protection I forget what she calls it. They call it something different down there. Why they can't help her come back to America, I don't know. Why they can't pay her some kind of child support, I don't know. And then go after her ex-husband for the boys, the two older ones. I don't know these answers. But I know she's a for real person in for real need. With for real four children because I get pictures. And I know where I send the money. It goes to Ecuador. It's not any of it a fabrication. She shared with me yesterday, Hi family, I will now share a dream I had this morning. I woke up at 322, no joke, the morning of 322, because of a tremor. Always... Oh, anyways, later went back to sleep and dreamt a taxi driver was taking me someplace and I was looking for money to pay him and did not find any in my purse. So I just told him, I will look for change in a store. But then he disappeared. I was so sad. Climbed to a high place to better spot him. I knew he was still around, so there he appeared. Oh, sorry, that's time to take Buddy out. Okay, he can wait five minutes. Okay, um, so there he appeared by my side without the taxi this time, telling me all is fine. I have no idea what this could mean, except... Our guardian angels are ready to pick us up with or without taxis. And she put a smiley face. I just thought it was a cute dream that maybe you would like to hear. And, and it was, but it may have a meaning. Somebody might know. But she said, tonight she sent me this email and she said, I had so high hopes for today. Asteroids came and went, though, without any impact today. What will I do? And no way to work. Now even the few restaurants around are closed. Also, before they only had their families working. And so they do 
in the nearby town of Loja, L O J A. I'm not sure how to say that. Although I never thought I should move there either, expenses are even higher. Always, or anyways, pray for us. I am depressed and overwhelmed. I wish it was just me, but four babies depend on me. They're nine years old and under, all four of them. And I need to somehow display a smile on my face all the time for them and leave crying for later at night when they go to sleep. But then I am too tired to cry and laugh out loud. So I just sleep. And she mentions the name of someone never helped me anymore for like six weeks. Maybe she is not doing well either. In fact, people will soon find money useless anyways. Also, me, if I wanted to buy more food, would need to pay much more than before the lockdown. Tell me we won't be here for much longer, maximum one week. Also, when hunger, etc. happens, single women are attacked first. I do not want to think of us going on longer here. Love. That's how she ends her letters. Then she said, pray for me to hang on till the last second here and to care for the babies father entrusted me with as I could with lots of sacrifices and hard work. Yes, work nobody pays or appreciates and much more reasonable. Res Sorry, my eyes are tired. Much more reasonable responsibility than regular jobs where people go home after some hours. I always am with the children. Their father left as if they were dogs. I still find it hard to think how can someone be like that. I don't know, Morella. How can someone be like that? He must be one evil, selfish man. May God reach his cold, stony heart and soften it where he couldn't repent before he dies. Anyway, if anybody has anything left over after stocking up, my PayPal address is JLM with the number 4 HIM at ATT dot net. That was the address I had at the time I opened my PayPal account. You cannot contact me there. I don't have it anymore, but it's still my username, my account name, whatever. I'll put it in the description box. And please, please, please pray for her. I... I know many pray for you, Morella, and we love you. I do. I wish I had a better income. I could help you more. I, I could, there was three donations this month, early this month. A hundred and twenty dollars, well, four, including what little I could give. That didn't pay rent. It bought some food.
anybody could help, please pray about it if you have to. I just get the feeling a lot of people think it's a scam or something. She's one of you. She's one of my subscribers. She's part of us. Even though she doesn't comment very often. Please consider helping Morella, even if it's just five dollars. If several could do that, it would add up. I've said that before. All right. That's it for now. God bless each and every one of you. I know many of you are struggling too. You didn't get to stock up on everything you wanted. Maybe you didn't get enough or whatever. And your income's not very big either. I get that. I do. So, for those who can, perhaps you can pitch in some. But please pray. At least pray for Marilla, please. That she will be able to lift her head and keep looking forward to the coming of our Savior. It's bound to be soon. But I know this virus thing, I saw, was watching Logic Before Authority, I believe it was. Now, I could be wrong, but somebody said the Secretary of State, whoever it was, it wasn't uh, Pelosi, it was a man, whatever his title, he said this was an, a military exercise. There you go. Whether he let it slip or he meant to say it. This is a military exercise. And in a couple weeks, it'll probably be all over. If everything will seem to go back to normal while they come up with the vaccine. And who knows what will be in it. And I do believe the Lord is going to come before that is enforced. He will not make us take something that he would not approve of. I just feel that for certain. In the meanwhile, we all got to live. All right. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye for now.